fact, it is not only critically important, but, but it is a scriptural command. Uh, you, you know, there are, are, are roughly 90 million self-described evangelical Christians in the United States. Of those 90 million, only 50% are registered to vote. Of those, about half are showing up and voting. And half of those probably yeah. uninformed. And that means nearly 70 million evangelical Christians have been staying home. Now look, if people of faith stay home, is it any wonder we have the government we have today? I, you know, you mentioned my dad. My dad, a couple of years ago, God really laid on his heart a burden for pastors. And, and he spends, he travels the country speaking at pastors' conferences. And, and he's got a hard message. It's not an easy message. And, and the message he conveys to pastors is, is, is that God convicted him that no one bears more responsibility for where this country is than pastors. That, that if the flock stumbles into the ditch, you don't blame the sheep. <laughs> you blame the shepherd. Mm -hmm. And the Word commands us to be salt and light. And you can't be salt unless you are in contact with what you're there to preserve. You can't be <laughs> light if you're hidden under a bushel. And, and I think far too many people of faith have said, you know what, politics is a dirty business. I don't need to worry myself about it. And can you imagine how different our country would be if an additional 70 million evangelical Christians simply showed up and voted biblical values?